In 2017, Chris Langen published a paper titled An Introduction to Mathematical Metaphysics, which is a highly simplified presentation of the CTMU, a theory of everything which resolves the problems with dualism, the idea that there are absolute distinctions in reality across which you cannot make meaningful reference. Denial of the overall unity of reality amounts to denial of its intelligibility and ability to be studied within a comprehensive theory. The CTMU, it should be noted, is not a theory of non-dualism per se, but instead self-dualism, neither denying the distinction between things in reality nor positing their absolute difference, but instead situating the difference in a higher unity, i.e. the relationship between the two different things called diffionic relands. This is expressed by the CTMU term syndiphionesis, which means sameness in difference. In particular, the CTMU resolves a most pers persistent and insidious form of dualism known as mind-body or Cartesian dualism, which says that mental and physical sides of reality are absolutely separate and can be studied entirely apart from one another. There's no meaningful connection between the two. Chris Langen writes, the CTMU resolves the problems associated with the mathematical property of self-duality, meaning that while not denying the difference between mind and the physical universe, because they exist in the same reality, the relationship between mind and matter must be more powerful in general than either mind or matter. Because they are different, and their difference is intelligible and exists within reality, they are reductively the same and exist within a self-dual identity, the identity of reality, which has both mental and physical aspects. The fundamental mental nature of reality can be deduced from our experience of reality. The only way we experience the world is through our consciousness. And the highest thing we encounter is other people with other conscious experiences of the same reality. Therefore, the image of the infinite, the identity of reality, the unity which must unite all of the various things which exist in the universe and encompass all of the perspectives of human consciousness and the other consciousnesses which will exist at any time in any place in the entire cosmos for all of eternity must be a mind so powerful in general that it is impossible to circumscribe its abilities from inside its creation. In his 2000 paper on the CTMU, Chris Langen says, when we attempt to answer the obvious question, whose mind, the answer turns out to be a mathematical and scientific definition of God. This implies that we all exist in what can be called the mind of God and that our individual minds are parts of God's mind. They are not as powerful as God's mind, for they are only parts thereof. Yet, they are directly connected to the greatest source of knowledge and power that exists. Because of the mapping between our minds and the mind of God, or the global operator descriptor, G-O-D, of existence, as he's called in CTMU Metaphysics, we can begin to understand the properties of God's mind as generalizations of our own. Our mind consists of four syntaxes, sets of rules and structure the qualio-perceptual syntax through which we can perceive and recognize objects, the logico-mathematical syntax through which we can consider abstract or mathematical concepts, the space-time object syntax through which we can recognize physical extension through our mind, and our emotelic syntax through which we can respond to our intrinsic needs and emotions. And whatever the other faculties of this mind, they must be powerful in general and distribute over all of reality as a pure and invariant universal distributed form making every part of existence partially identified with the generic form of the G.O.D.'s being, and thus isomorphic to and containing the laws and structure of the mathematical infrastructure of the universe, response to the intrinsic need of the universe for self-fulfillment, the ability to be input for human perception and cognition, and physical extension in space and time, all existing in the single symbol faculty of universal mind. What is the synesis? They sameness which relates to every single thing in reality and allows them to relate to one another. Chris Langen defined metaphysical reality as a coupling of perceptual reality, the physical universe which we live in and can see, and the cognitive perceptual syntax of the G.O.D. CTMU YouTuber Mathematical Metaphysics, named for the paper we're studying, in his newest video, Introducing Telonic Memory, says that the universe is a combination of a fermionic body, the physical universe, and the telonic body, through which the universe responds to and configures its self-fulfillment. For the former, God serves as the primary syntactor, providing the rules and structure for the universe. And for the latter, God serves as the primary teller, determining its intrinsic purpose and end. Everything thus far discussed is a component of the monic medium of all of existence. This is why the ultimate identity of reality is called by many religious, philosophical, and spiritual traditions as the One. It is that which creates rules over, and unites all of the various things in creation. In 
mathematical metaphysics is video. I believe it's called the why, why I'm not an academic mathematician. He actually says that the physical universe is the most complex instantiation of the number one. A theory of everything, which explained all of these components, all the structure of the universe would necessarily be equivalent to the universe's explanation of itself, which must exist because as mathematical metaphysics said, the universe is self-memorizing, self-learning, and self-perceiving, and thus forms the intrinsic language through which reality exists and evolves. Or as Chris Langan says, it is a self-contained language incorporating its own medium of existence and comprising its own model therein. This theory is called the Cognitive Theoretic Model of the Universe, a TOE which dissolves the distinction between theory, model, and universe by situating them all in, within the global cognition of the GOD. The field of study dedicated to the expl explication of the logico-mathematical structure of the CTMU and thus of the universe is called mathematical metaphysics and is the most general human discipline, studying existence as a whole. And thus every other discipline, physics, biology, philosophy, and more can be for formulated in terms of it. Because the formal language of mathematical metaphysics is a meta language and is syntactically equivalent to the universe, Chris Langan says the universe shares the linguistic structure and dynamics of the theory and is therefore also a language or more accurately a meta language or intrinsic language which creates and instantiates the reality it describes. Chris Langan says a theory of everything must exist because the universe has structure and history which must be intelligible to a formal language of sufficient expressive power. Mathematical metaphysics points out in his video that the universe does not evolve based on a set of fixed axiom. So we, as secondary tellers, images of the will of the G.O.D. are generating new axioms for its evolution. Laws and states evolve in coupling through the evolving life of the universe. Physics, largely regarded as the most comprehensive science, suffers from the flaw that not only it doesn't explain where the physical laws of the universe reside, but... It doesn't explain why they're constant, how the universe arises as a whole. It doesn't explain its own axioms and derivation, why they correspond to correct physical observations, or the origin of life or consciousness. We must proceed not by way of standard physics for a true conception of reality, but instead CTMU mathematical metaphysics, which contains and extends physics, and which will be explicated throughout the course of this channel's content. The CTMU meta language must define reality, which also means coherently identifying reality and apprehending and locally discerning it from non-reality. Where truth denotes inclusion in reality and truth values are assigned in various human disciplines, including physics, Chris Langan says the TOE must be a metaphysical meta language of physics, which supports the verification or falsification of physical attributions by attaching them to one of the truth values, true or false, to each of them. The CTMU is thus also a theory of meta-logic, the logic and structure of truth itself. Chris Langan says, it is through this logical syntax, the CTMU meta-logic, that a self-modeling conscious entity anthropically couples to its universe, i.e. the life and personality of God, creates a logical geometric universe as an overflowing of his being, consisting both of the geometry of physical objects and relations and the meta-logic of his metalinguistic identity. Thusly, the CTMU dissolves the dualistic relationship between language and universe and defines existence and metaphysics in terms of their entanglement, a metalinguistic meta-object responsible for its own creation, evolution, meaning, and purpose. Langan says, the trialic supertautological identity M can be developed into the cognitive theoretic model of the universe, or CTMU, a reality theoretic structure with formal, linguistic, geometric, and model theoretic aspects. The CTMU is a theory which says that reality is a self-modeling universal language, or if one prefers that the universe is a self-modeling language. The universe is indeed a holographic self-simulation. Reality everywhere simulates itself by, for, and through its own con it, through its own con through and for its own constituents. In the bold yet true words of Chris Langan in his 1996 paper, some remarks on CTMU mathematical structure pertaining to intelligence. Metaphysics is just an antiquated synonym for CTMU. Let the light shine forth in the darkness. May the peace of our Father in heaven be upon you. Like and subscribe. Peace.